Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 overpriced items in online games. For this list, we're looking at some of the most absurd prices folks have paid just for a single item in a video game. Which of these had you floored? Share your confusion with us in the comments below. Number 10, Blue Party Hat, RuneScape. It's astonishing that a game like RuneScape has gone on for as long as it has. But what's even more astonishing is the amount of money folks are willing to pay for a single hat for their avatars. One elusively expensive item in the game is the blue party hat, a basic crown in a very basic shade of blue that was only available during a holiday event all the way back in 2001. Though it did return in the 2013 Christmas event, the hat is still a rarity to witness, and in 2021, someone bought it for $6,700. And we're only getting started on these ridiculous trades. Number 9. Revenant Supercarrier – EVE Online One of the most surprising aspects of EVE Online is how the community functions and treats the game like a second life, documenting conflicts and, of course, paying chunks of change for virtual goods. The most expensive item in the game, however, is the Revenant Supercarrier, a massive ship that very few players own. For a mere $9,000, this ship can be yours and paint you as a big target for pirate players. In 2015 and 2016, two revenants were downed by two factions of rogue players, Pandemic Legion and Test. Best be aware of what you're getting into when buying this ship. Number 8. Zuzo – World of Warcraft In a manner almost like EVE Online, World of Warcraft has long been a game where players treat the world as their second life. However, there is one second life that has passed between players only once. Zuzo was a level 70 rogue class night elf character with some exceptionally rare equipment attached. The character had almost all pieces needed for tier 6 armor, and for weaponry, they wielded the Twin Blades of Azanoth, which can only be obtained at the Black Temple from looting Illidan's carcass. The price paid for this account? $9,700. Can't buy it anymore, though, as Blizzard bans the account due to violating terms of service. Account selling is forbidden. Number 7. Burning Killer Exclusive – Team Fortress 2 When it comes to hats, no other community lives and breathes headwear like the Team Fortress 2 player base. This community fawns over hats, even the most basic kind. But when it comes to rare pieces, like the Burning Killer Exclusive, well, traders go into a frenzy. The Burning Killer exclusive has exchanged hands a couple of times, the most recent being in 2016 for nearly $11,000 worth of in-game materials. The hat was bought for a thousand keys and three gold frying pans. For you trading aficionados, that's well over 4,000 keys pure worth. Number 6. Echoing Fury Diablo 3 World of Warcraft is not the only title from Blizzard Entertainment to see some enthusiasm in the trading space. Remember the auction house? In case you don't, this was a market in the game where players could buy, sell, and exchange in-game items. Of them all, the legendary mace known as Echoing Fury was the priciest. 
Just a few weeks after the game launched, Echoing Fury sold for nearly $13,000 worth of in-game gold. Unfortunately, the Mace's value has tanked ever since the auction house shut down in 2014. Number 5. Dragon Slaying Saber – Age of Wushu Developed by Chinese studio Snail, Age of Wushu has seen a quiet following within the MMO space, gaining enough support from players to warrant a potential sequel that entered beta in 2017. Surprisingly enough, one in-game item has been sold for a price as absurd as our previous entries, and it happens before the game left beta. In 2011, one Chinese man bought a sword called the Dragon Slaying Saber for $16,000. Yes, it's an intricate and well-designed sword, but would we pay that exorbitant amount of money for it? Mm, not really. Number 4. Ethereal Flames Pink War Dog – Dota 2 MOBA games such as Dota 2 feature tons of cosmetics and gear for players to outright murder their wallets with. Of them all, only one of them has been named by Guinness World Records as the most expensive item in Dota 2. The Ethereal Flames Pink War Dog sold at an auction for $38,000. What exactly was so special about this item, you may be asking? Well, it's a courier that is supposedly extremely hard to get. And that's pretty much it. It's a courier. All it does is transport items from shop to player. Nothing more. Number 3. Amsterdam – Second Life If you need proof that the metaverse was a thing long before Facebook took an interest in it, Second Life is your evidence. For years, players have been buying and selling virtual lands to each other no different than in real life. The most expensive sale in the entire game, though, was for the virtual city known as Amsterdam. Before you ask, yes, this is essentially a virtual recreation of the capital city of the Netherlands and includes the infamous Red Light District, and it was sold on eBay in 2007. How honorable. The lucky buyer only had to fork over $50,000 for the virtual city to be theirs. Number 2. Souvenir AWP Dragon Lore Sniper Skin – Counter-Strike Global Offensive Honestly, it's kind of alarming that a simple weapon skin managed to be way more expensive than a massive starship or a virtual city. The Souvenir AWP Dragon Lore Sniper skin is a pricey cosmetic more tailored to those ingrained in Counter-Strike's esports scene, though. The rifle comes with a small assortment of stickers dedicated to various Counter-Strike esports player, and it can only be obtained through the obscenely priced cobblestone souvenir packages. But how much do you need to pay to bypass the randomized loot boxes? Well, one sold in 2018 for roughly $61,000. Best start saving! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Too Much Crap – Entropia
Entropia could have very easily dominated this list with just how many insanely expensive things have been sold in this game. While a handful of motherships can go for up to $9,000, the real value is in owning virtual land. Twin Peaks Shopping Mall? 35 grand! A moon known as Monria? Nearly 95,000! But the most notable ones are those only the massively wealthy can cash confetti their way into owning. Whereas the Crystal Palace Space Station will run you about 150,000 bucks, the famous resort Club Never Die will cost you well over $600,000 to own. Whoa! Show me that money! In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.